Alright, so I'm playing against a deck that I kind of want to bring Mind Rod in. <laughs> um, he's blue, so I also want Plummet, but now I have to figure out what kind of changes I want to make. Um, like, he's he looks like a long game deck, so Mind Rot might be good, and, like, if he's got... Uh, Mind Rot might just work out really well. Disentomb also seems good, but... And I definitely want to bring in the plummet. And I can take out a Mark of the Vampire. Uh, well, yeah, he's playing blue, so he'll probably have an unsummon. Yeah. Maybe oh maybe I just take out no, I like Kite Sound still. Alright. That should be fine. Maybe I don't want this thing. Maybe I'd rather have like a mind rot instead. Instead of a dust alarm, I'll keep the dust alarm. <laughs> uh, oh well, this is—I uh, don't know if those sideboards were perfect. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were terrible. But all right, this hand's fine. I have deadly recluse, walking corpse. I'd like to be on the play here, but and I have a plummet, so he's playing blue black. So there's definitely a good chance. Well, I mean, I <laughs> yeah, I probably should have taken out Mark. Blue black is just like removal plus. Um, unsummon, so it's just like everything that Mark the Vampire hates. Um, but, yeah, my hand's not great, but I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't think that there's any chance that I'm mulligan this. I have very few cards that cost so little mana, so um, bound to draw more my mid or top end of the curves. What you doing, buddy? Why is it, why are we just waiting at his upkeep? <laughs> He chose to play first, okay. I don't know if I would choose to play first in his deck. I'm not really sure about a lot of his decisions. Stemming from the first division um, decision, which was to play Mind Sculpt. <laughs> but, I mean, worked out for him there. He was able to not allow me to draw that Nighthawk, but I still drew well enough from there to win the game, so. Yeah, these Walking Corpses, I guess, are less than ideal in this matchup. Because he's probably running 0-4s and 1-4s. Probably... <laughs> Probably should have sideboarded a lot more than I did. I just couldn't figure out what to take out, and I didn't want to just like keep dropping creatures for spells, um, because then I don't really have much. I like I just lose out too much if I do that because I run out of um, creatures, and then I can't win the game. <laughs> just not where I want to be. And I know that if this game goes too long, I'll get milled. Or Stormtide Leviathan without a public execution to back me up. I was lucky I drew both of them last game. Um, yeah, there's nothing here to say. <laughs> I'm not going to be a jerk and be like, give up yet? I don't know what this guy's doing. He's probably... Oh, there we go. I wonder how long I was sitting there. That could be stupid. That could make me look really dumb. Okay, so now I have my mana. Um, I don't really need to draw more unless I draw a public execution or a dust tail worm. But chances are I won't need to. He's gonna be like Harbor Bandit. Oh, there's there's the fog bank. Um I may just plummet that. Yeah, I'll probably just plummet that. Should I do it now or should I play this recluse? Recluse doesn't really do much on this board state. With with uh an unplummeted fog bank, so I'll plummet this fog bank right now. I don't want to have to deal with it. I have this Nighthawk that I want to be attacking with, and I guess I could have done it in two turns um, and put a creature on the board now. Probably would have been better, but this plays around a gate, so... If I can play around a gate, then I will, and it's at the cost of probably not attacking with creatures. So now I'm just going to... Man, now I'm sad, but I'll play this Nighthawk. I'll trade damages. Hopefully he doesn't have removal for it, like, my ideal, the ideal way that this turn goes is he, like, makes his Harbor Bandit unblockable and just attacks, but there's no reason to do that because there's no way I'm blocking. But, um, next turn I'm going to play out my Deadly Recluse and my Walking Corpse, I think. Another Harbor Bandit, and that could be trouble. So, yeah, I'll definitely, I'd rather trade the Deadly Recluse than my Centaur Courser. But I... I think I'll win this race. I mean, it really depends on what, what we both draw. 
deadly recluse and this thing but uh like if his turns are just make both my guys unblockable attack then i swing back for four then like it's even okay so he's not making his guys unblockable so i'll just block this i'll just trade there and then i'm definitely winning the race i guess he had stuff to do with his mana because there's no way he wants the Deadly Recluse for... Oh my god! I knew I saw a bunch of Harbor Bandits. I did not know I saw that many. Alright. So, charge with the Nighthawk. And I am still winning. So, playing this Stuffy Doll means that he can't play any spells next turn. Um, and it, it doesn't get in for three every turn. I'll choose you. Um, but I can, st I mean, I can still get him for one at guaranteed at least. Unless he's got, no, you can't really have a removal spell for Stuffy Doll. So yeah, he's not attacking this turn. The, oh yeah, he could play land and then attack with one of them. Um, which is, which is a fair play. Yep, unblockable. Take me down to 15. But no, I mean, I think I'm winning the race. He needs to draw something. He needs to play a Crippling Blight or something like that. And then he'll be in good shape. Farseek is not the card that I wanted to see here. Alright, so just keep beating in with this Nighthawk. But um Centaur Corsair is gonna help me. It um because it can still attack into in this on this board state. So that's good. Um, may as well leave this this stupid forest in my hand. I guess I don't really want to draw mutilate here. <laughs> that would be terrible. I guess if I had drawn Mutilate, then... No, I mean, like, I'm still winning on this board state. I just need um, need to figure out... Like, I need him not to be playing good spells. Like, he loses if he just goes all in on Harbor Bandits. Because um, I have this stuffy doll. But he could play a Tauren's Invocation, which might help him out. He still can't double block my... I mean, he can, he can and probably will double block my Nighthawk, but... Um, so... But it'll double trade. Either way, I still attack with it. The question is, do I bring the Centaur Corsair? I think the answer is no. Because I think... Well, yeah, the answer is probably yes. Okay. Well, I'm fine trading my ta uh, my Nighthawk for his Tauren's Invocation. Nighthawk did its job already. And I need to just draw some spells here. Like, Beast Tracker would, be, would get me pretty far... Um, a, I guess no, that doesn't really work. I was just thinking. Yeah, I'm I'm actually definitely losing this race currently, especially since he's got five cards in hand and I've got zero. So, um, playing spells and then mutilating would be fine for me. Oh my god, he's not doing anything. He's not attacking. What does he have? Do he have fairy invaders? I don't know. That's weird to me. Okay. Oh, there's kite sail. That was timely. And the question is, do I put it on my Corsair and get in for four, or do I put it on the Walking Corpse and still get in with that? I think I put it on the Walking Corpse. And... And then just get in with everyone except for Stuffy Doll. Because if he trades for... If Corsair trades for a Harbor Bandit, then I'm fine. And I expected him to play uh, Fair Invaders also. Okay, so he's just going to double trade. And then... I guess this... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much... Like, I just traded up both of my creatures. I traded up my Walking Corpse for... Um, for his Fairy Invaders. And my the Centaur Corps are up for his Harbor Bandit. So, I mean, I guess I'm happy with that. The only problem is he's got five cards in hand. I have zero. Well, I don't really know if he has five. He could have, like... Well, he would be playing out his... Yeah, he has definitely has five spells in hand. So, I mean, Stuffy Doll only gets so far, especially when he has a 3-3 three, three Harbor Bandit. So, I mean, I'm going to need to draw Mutilate to win this one. And uh, hopefully I'll draw it next... Or even if I do draw it next turn, I won't play it. Okay. Um, putting the Kites on, on Stuffy Doll just makes sense, but it's probably not going to be relevant. There's a Public Execution. But, 
I may not need to play that. I mean, you can still only attack with the Harbor Bandit, so... Um, I'll hold off. <coughs> Hope, like, Mutilate is my best out here. Like, especially if he commits more to the board and then I Mutilate, then he's just in bad shape. But I do lose to either of these two clocks right now, so... Okay, he has pl he has played four Harbor Bandits this game. And this... Why would he not get in there? That's weird. Um... Do I even want to play Duty Bound Dead? Probably not. I guess he wants to Chronomaton. He'd rather Chronomaton than swing for three. Seems weird. Okay, well, um... Seems like very, very shortly... Oh, he'd rather Chronomaton and Vidalcan Entrancer. Right, so there goes Beast Tracker. But, um, until I see... I mean, I guess I can wait one more turn to hope for a mutilate. I really wish I had sign of blood in this deck. And that would be another really good out. But like there's just so many I mean there's just I so win the game not win the game, but I so benefit from playing mutilate that I think it's like worth waiting. And he's just gonna make them both unblockable here. Um so I guess this is really the last turn I can wait. Um, for mutilate. Okay, so next turn I'll mutilate. I mean, I'll public execution if I, um, if I don't mutilate. Um, okay. Alright. There's a Servant of Neferox. Guess I should have played this land out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I'll play this thing. And then I'll pass. Um, or do I attack for... Yeah... No, because then I want him to to have to make his guys unblockable. So I don't want to attack. Even though it gets in one extra damage. Which could be relevant. Okay. Public execution number two is gone. And Centaur Corsair is gone. And Chronomaton's bigger. I can still draw Mutilate. I wouldn't be unhappy. It's okay, guys. Y you can let me draw mutilate. <laughs> it would not be the end of the world here. Okay. Right, so now I need, just need to wait for him to make those two unblockable. And then I will public execution one of them. Yeah. This one. So I only take one here. But still not in wonderful shape. Uh, because he has a much shorter clock than I do. Alright, so since I can just um, block that with Duty Band Dead. Well, no, maybe I just get in with Duty Band Dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I, yeah, they both have zero power, so. <laughs> and then, wow, that is just. I can't believe I didn't think of that, actually. I, st I, I might win this game. I'm going to be able to swing it for 3, 4. Oh, he's got an Essence Scatter for that. Damn it. That's bad. Okay, well, I still attack with this thing. And hopefully, I will draw something. Essence Strain would be sweet here. Or a creature that can attack. <laughs> Wouldn't be the end of the world either. Damn, that was good for him to have that essence scatter, but I mean, he's had more cards than me the whole game, so. I don't know how he's had so much more so many more cards. I guess that divination helped. And Yeah, I don't really understand what else happened. <laughs> they gave him more cards. Okay, I just need to remember to stuff he doll at end step. Cause that'd be really bad if I forgot that. And he's gonna play in crust. Okay, not the ideal thing he wants to encrust, but still very bad for me. Give me like a dust worm or something here. And I'll just win next turn. Okay. And just re-equip this thing, because there's no reason not to. And uh, we're gonna pass the turn here. There's no way I'm attacking for two. He just swings back and kills me. What do I have in here? Okay, two more cards. Um, 
centaur coursers. All my centaur coursers are in the graveyard here. But that means that there's a still a decent chance that I draw my um, my worm. But there's also a decent chance that even if I do draw my worm, I still lose. Um, Essence scattering the servant and then encrusting the duty man dead. That was clutch. Like I would have won the game if or assuming he had no responses, which I guess is a stupid assumption. But I mean, I can still draw mutilate here if he plays something. Dustmantle Prowler. I mean, does he just attack with the team here? Gets him for three with that, and then another four? No, I guess not. <laughs> but it does mean that I think I'm dead. Oh, he gets him for four here. That's pretty good. Cause yeah, I'm I'm pretty dead. Fairly dead, unless I draw mutilate. Or another forest. Man, if I draw mutilate, where is mutilate? Where are you, mutilate? Okay. Forest, swamp, Titanic growth, <laughs> Harbor Elf. Oh God! All my good cards are on the bottom. Curses. Okay. Um, let's let's do more in terms of sideboarding. So I don't really think that walking corpse helps me too much in this matchup. Um. But would I rather have these mind rots? What else can I bring in? Just a tumor pack wolf is is my only other green card. Um, so I could bring Mark of the Vampire back in, but I did oh I did side this out. Um, it's pretty bad in the matchup. Although I haven't seen that much removal, but I assume he has it. Um, so do I bring this thing in? Yeah, okay. And I get to play first this game, which is fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I have this duty man dead, and I have I do have A-Force in my deck, so there's a good chance that I draw one. And if not, then there's a good chance that I draw black spells that I can play. Um, it's not worth mulliganing on the play when I actually have spells that I can play, and... Um, yeah. There's Mutilate. Okay, well, let's get in for our one damage. Would have been nice to draw forest, though. But I still have one more turn before, I, and then I'll be able to play my courser on time. But um, I could just end up mutilating, like, turn six or something like that, and not playing any spells until then. Or I could just play, like, one courser, commit one courser to the board, and then mutilate. Then I have to mutilate for three creatures for it to even be even. Uh, maybe I just save mutilate for later in the game. Who knows? Well, he could either he could easily have a scatter here, but I don't play around that. I still run out my centaur courtier, which I cannot because I drew a swamp. Um, okay. Well, not looking ideal here, but I do have mutilate and public execution, so it's not like he's winning the game anytime soon. And I could draw like a kite sail, which would be sweet, or a stuffy doll. Ugh, you and your harbor bandits. <laughs> There's a forest. Okay. And, like, I mean, I have this beast tracker, so eventually I'll be able to get a Nighthawk. It should be pretty nice. I don't think I want... I definitely do not want to trade here. If he offers it. Hopefully, like, ideally... No, that doesn't work. I was going to say, ideally, he, like, plays a Harbor Bandit and tries to double block me next turn, and then I'm just like, public execution, go away. <laughs> There's a Dusk Mail Prowler. Okay. Yep, you can get in for your four. And then I'll swing back for my four. And there's a Farseek. So... Do I even want to play the Farseek is the question. Because if, if I don't play the Farseek, then I can get in with my Duty Bound Dead. I mean, then I can regenerate with my Duty Bound Dead, but he could just... Um, Harbor Bandit anyway, and then I'm not in good shape. So I think I want to far seek. The only problem is I can't even get um, a second forest. Stupid far seek. Take another swamp. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Maybe that was the wrong play. Now he can just swing with both of them for five. But I still don't think I'm going to lose this race because I have public execution now and I have mana for it. Okay, so he's just going to swing in with that guy for whatever reason. So, I mean, I guess getting the extra land made him not have to pay two mana this turn, which could be a problem. 
Halrin's invocation. Well, that's not good. And Kraken Hatchling. Um, there's another swamp. So I'm going to attack here. And Mutilate may just be my best option here, depending on whether or not he lets this in. Okay, so we let the damage through. So I think I might just public execution and try to get more value out of my Mutilate. Because if he plays multiple spells next turn, then that'll be uh, beneficial to me. I guess I still have to Mutilate with the current board state. He's definitely going to swing in with the two flyers. I don't know why he wouldn't just like throw the Kraken Hatchling. I don't know, I think... Yeah, I guess that's fair. It's not really a perfect block for him, no matter what. Um, so I can pretty much prevent all the damage here, if I want to. Um, yeah, let's public execution this. And I'll probably be able to get the same value out of it anyway, because he'll probably play another Harbor Bandit. Ideally, he'll play two Harbor Bandits. <laughs> um, okay, I'll take my zero. Play some creatures. Fog Bank. And Windrake. Okay, so I think, I think I got my values worth. I'll just attack, maybe. Something stupid will happen and he won't block. Just too bad I can't regen my DD band dead. <laughs> that would be fun. But everything is going to die. Unless, yeah, I don't want to take six damage. Um, and now I just need to, I really need to draw that forest. And then I should be in good shape. Because if I draw the forest, then I can go get um, Dustdale Worm. And then I can play a 7-7. Seven, seven. But, um, he's, like, the game's not over. Oh, God, that's the worst. That was probably one of the worst cards he could have played. I guess if I draw my shade, then I'm in better shape. There's Dust Elworm. But I can't play him! God damn it! Oh, my God, I'm gonna lose in the fucking first round. His deck is insane, though. Like, this is one of the more insane decks I've ever played against. I still should have won. I had drawn a fucking forest this game. Maybe I'll draw a public execution next turn. I don't know. I guess if I draw a forest, then I'm fine. Yeah, I know I take a ton of damage. Oh, wow. He has another spell for me. The Dalkin Entrancer. There's Deadly Recluse. He, show up. he showed up on time. Alright, so this game's not over. Oh my god, he had Essence Scatter! Oh, so blown. God. Alright, so I need to either draw Nighthawk or, or Forest next turn, or this game is literally going to be over, since he can swing in for 5 here. Oh god, that Essence Scatter. Okay. Oh my god, he only did 1 damage? What does he have? Sphinx of Uthun. Of course he does. Well, he's just going to take the Stormtide Leviathan, right? I mean, I definitely don't give him any lands with the Stormtide Leviathan. He's still going to take it. There's no way that he takes the other pile. Oh my god, he took the other pile. <laughs> Essence Drain. Um, my out here is Nighthawk, but that's not even an out. Because he has Fairy Invaders and a uh, Harbor Bandit in hand. God, his deck is so good. I still should have won this game. If I had been able to play my Beast Tracker within the last 54 turns, then. <sighs> but, uh, I mean, I drew, <laughs> I drew seven swamps. Well, I drew six swamps, and I... Um, far seeked one of them. Play Harbor Bandit, blah blah blah. And there's a forest. Oh god. 
Um, well, he just kills me either way. But, may as well show him that I had this card. In my hand for like 12 turns. <laughs> Alright, well, this is exactly not where I wanted to go with this. To to have my, uh, my only draft video be a first round loss. But, I mean, when my opponent's playing four Harbor Bandit deck, like... I don't even... I don't even know. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm just going to say, you have a sweet deck. Like, his deck is just outstanding. I, I, I don't think I... I don't mean... I've definitely seen better decks, but... Not very many. I don't know. I think I would have cut the Stormtide Leviathan. Um... <laughs> Uh, if I were him, yeah, if I were him, I would have cut the Storm Tide Leviathan and the Mind Sculpt. But other than that, he's been he's been solid. Like I don't think he needs. I mean, with the Sphinx of Uthun and four Harbor Bandits and Fairy Invaders and Vidalkin and Trancers, you don't need to uh, play it. But I guess I shouldn't be giving him advice um, if he beats me, <laughs> right? But all right, so I guess that was um, that was the draft. I really thought that deck was good, um, but I mean that's not really the way it works. If you even even if you have a good deck, you still uh, don't necessarily win. My draws were fine. It was just that his deck beat me. But man, like so much removal, three centaur coursers, vampire nighthawk, and then just like a random mutilate. <laughs> oh god, this deck was good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye.